really at the very beginning one of the programs like four years ago that we wanted to do in science gallery was food the tricky thing about food is it's such a huge subject it's vast right it's you know many many exhibitions have been done on food from you know looking at kind of agricultural aspects of things to you know to looking at you know nu nutrition aspect of things to looking at specifically new technologies and food around genetically modified organisms and so what we decided to do with the exhibition when we brought Kat Kramer and Zach Denfield, the curators on board, was that we decided to take this very specific angle in the show of the eater. So the eater as being the individual um, as the agent of selection. So the idea, the concept we're really exploring is that it's as an eater and the choices that you make that have a huge knock-on effect over what happens in, you know, in your kitchen um, and what happens in the field. What we really concentrate on doing is bringing arts and science together. So our mission is to be a place where we kind of ignite creativity where art and science collide. So the idea behind that is that you sort of, you take people from different disciplines and it's at that kind of boundary point that some really exciting stuff happens. So, you know, I'm a scientist and an, or you're an artist and we, ha we start having a conversation about our work and somewhere at that boundary point a spark begins and from that then a new idea begins to be gestated and developed and so everything that we do in the science gallery is really about that process so we sort of see ourselves as a kind of particle collider for people is really the best way to describe it sort of bringing people together smashing them together and hoping something new kind of comes out of it and our exhibitions are a big part of that so we also run events and workshops but so we try to develop exhibitions for example, today, this is the, the edible show, and what we try to do is we try to take really big themes that offer something to both artists, scientists, designers, engineers, really to everybody, to something that they can interrogate. So they have to be kind of themes that have a connection with people's daily lives, that in some way there's work in there that can surprise people in some way. So you walk in the door of the science gallery and you're going to see a large inflatable stomach that looks like a bouncy castle, which most people People are probably not expecting to see so you know you want to do work but yet within that bouncy castle you get to find out about the different bacteria in your gut and you get to understand the process of food and the actually traveling through your stomach so it's developing works that are really around that idea that people can genuine genuinely participate in something make a kind of connection with somebody and at the same time be sort of like wow I didn't expect to see that <laughs>